I just always think it's really important to be a cheerleader for the farmers. We farm on the Mendip Hills in Somerset, which is a beef, sheep and arable business. We are in the middle of harvest, so 24 hours for us, it looks like filling up the grain dryer and emptying it. We've already harvested barley and we'll be starting wheat in the next couple of days. First thing in the morning, getting the dryer going and then off checking all the cattle around, feeding the calves and then either driving their combine or driving their tractors, hauling grain back to the grain store. And we also catch up with all of our paperwork. And also record videos. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? My name's Rob Hodgkins. I farm in partnership with my wife, Joanna. We are based in Hertfordshire. We run around 1,600 acres of arable, 2,500 New Zealand Romneys. And this year, we've just started our own flock of 400 milking ewes, which is our newest adventure. We farm beef, sheep, arable, and we also have the Dorset Sunflower Trail. A typical 24 hours would be to feed the kids, help feed the animals and then be running down today in particular to welcome all of the public to enjoy that sunflower display. I'm Sophie and I farm at Hemsworth in Dorset. Organic cereals and dairy. Besides the outdoor fun, there's also a lot of office work. A typical day for my husband will be on the tractors, on the trailers we'd be harvesting at the moment and we'd be making sure that everyone is fit and healthy on the farm. We're a 2.2 hectare um, vineyard. We've got seven varieties. Well, we've just been through the vines and taken all the leaves off from around the bunches. And because of the dry weather, we're now going to have to go and water each of the individual vines as well. We're now ready to go and apply product to the grapes to ensure that there's no disease at bunch closure time. I am a mixed beef and arable farmer from East Lothian. We have about a thousand acres of arable. My daily routine starts at about eight o'clock where I have a team meeting with my squad, work out what we're doing for the day and the equipment and things to do it and filling in for any other jobs. We're harvesting our seed rape. Uh, and I'm on the trailer chasing this all day. This afternoon, I may be getting our bulls back in. They've finished their mating period. This evening, I may be cultivating. Welcome to Up on Nisbet Farm. I farm together with my wife, Jacqueline, and two sons, Andrew and Harry. Today's task is we're busy putting away winter grain, which was combined about three weeks ago at high temperatures. Now that the Scottish weather has cooled down, we're taking this opportunity to put the grain away and get the aerators going to bring it back down to a sensible temperature for long-term storage for our cattle enterprise. At the moment, I am waiting here to get parts for a trailer uh, which has a puncture at the side of the road. We're a beef and sheep farm. We farm about 16,000 acres. We've also diversified into poultry and 400 deer. And we have a, a 200 kilowatt uh, anaerobic digester plant um, that is uh, generating electricity from all the livestock manure we produce on the farm. What we're doing today is whole cropping spring barley. We have farms all over the UK. Uh, we also work individually with each farmer to kind of come up with a strategy for how Agri Epicenter is going to help them to achieve their goals. We make sure that the projects that we're developing, the technology, the protocols are actually fit for use and are economically sustainable on a commercial farm. We really work personally, like us to them, and have meetings with them and help them to achieve their sustainability goals. You can't be sustainable environmentally if you're not sustainable economically because at the end of the day, all these farmers need to put food on their tables. Part of the work that we're doing is just to improve the efficiency, profitability, sustainability of farming in the UK. But part of it is also to bolster the amazing innovation and fantastic mindsets there is amongst the UK farmers. I think I'm a big believer in peer-to-peer -peer farming. So it's great for me, as I'm in the twilight of my career now, to give back to farms and farmers all the help that they've given me over the years. So it's with great pride that you take as an agri-epi farm knowing that you've helped another generation of farmers and products going forward to increase the welfare of the British animals. You can't plug them enough. We can't appreciate them enough. They not only are feeding us, but they are working to make the way that they feed us better and healthier for the planet and healthier for our bodies and better for the animals. That's what the public want. They want high welfare products being produced on British farms.